Hey Peter, how you going? I just thought I'd test out some screen capturing software and uh, in the process I thought I'd demonstrate how I've worked out how to use speech commands with Maya. So anyway, I've got um, my speech recognition software loaded up here in the back uh, as well as my Windows speech recognition macros down here in my toolbar. So I'll give it a bit of a go and see 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 what we come up with. Start listening. Create plane. Shaded mode on. Create box. Up. Grid off. Extrude. 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 Hypershade Close window Render me Close window Stop listening. Okay, very rudimentary example, but it does sort of uh, show how easy it is to use. It does seem to work quite seamlessly, so I'm pretty stoked. Um, I guess I'll just show you quickly how to set one up. It's yeah, not too difficult. So yeah, why not give it a go? Um, yep, yeah, okay. Start listening. Start listening. New scene. Don't save. Create box. Up. Shaded mode on. Space. Space. Shaded mode on. Stop listening. So I thought what I might do is um, have a go at um, setting up a CV curve uh, as a voice command. Now the easiest way to do it, I suppose, is if you go to your script editor and have a look at the commands that come up when you actually click uh, certain menu items, uh, you can glean what the script command actually is from that. Uh, well, sometimes it won't show you, so you have to echo the commands and uh, just pick pick out the one. Which, yeah, it, it ends up being pretty straightforward. It'll give you a whole bunch of different commands in your script window. Like, I'll just show you quickly. Clear history. Echo all commands. And as you see, it's given a whole bunch of stuff. But if I turn echo off, and then out of all of this, you can sort of scroll through. And there we go, there's the command for CV curve tool. But the quickest way I found was just to um, go to create. Make sure you've got your own shelf sort of loaded up under custom or make make one with your name and um, what is it control shift yeah control shift click and then it's up in the shelf so that if I reopen this guy clear the history um, 
then when I click there, yeah, there we go, it comes up, tells you what the command is. So I'll just go Control C to copy that. Um, and to make a hotkey out of it, go into my hotkey editor. I've been putting them in user. Oh, I've got quite a few more than that. So I, when I first started off, I must have been putting them in a different spot. But anyway, regardless, uh, let's go to new. Let's call this one CV Curve Tool. And add a description if you like, I suppose. Create CV Curve. Control paste and there we have it. So if I accept that it comes up into the commands list and now I can assign a key to it. So control, alt, whatever the key that I'd like to assign. Um, I do believe I don't that the letter A isn't assigned to anything. I always use control alt because I think most of them aren't assigned to anything. I know Control alt s is assigned to incremental saves but apart from that I think there's not that many. So to check it you can go to Query Control alt a is assigned to nothing. So we'll assign it. Even if you don't click Query first and you click Assign and if it is already assigned to something it'll warn you. So yeah no, no dramas there but assign. So now I've got my control alt A is assigned to CV curve tool. So I can close this fella out. And um, in my Windows speech recognition macros I can right click and go to new speech macro. Now there's a few different options here. I've just been sticking with send keystrokes. I'm sure all this other stuff can be quite powerful. Uh, but for now this is what I've been using. So what phrase will I say? Create curve. Or even just curve. I'll create curve, why not? And then I have to put my control and alt keys in squiggly brackets. It explains it all. It explains it here, so it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, next, create. The new speech macro was successfully created. Yay! Close. Um, since I'm already on my uh, CV Curve tool, I'll just click off of that. And with any luck, we'll see if this has worked or not. Start listening. Create curve. Off. Space. Space. Grid off. Extrude. Stop listening. So there we have it. Seems to be working quite well. Anyway, that was just a little bit of a demonstration and hopefully the screen capture software has been working and I won't have to redo this. Okay, catch you later. Cheers.